back to another episode of Bagged Milk. I'm your host, Brian Bridges. And, well, this is a special episode. This is a special episode. If you, if you have tuned in on Wednesday and was like, mm, you know what would be really fucking good right now? A refreshing glass of bagged milk. And you went to grab some and nothing. Mom! Mom! Why isn't there any bagged milk in the fridge? It's not there. It's not there. Why is it fucking not there? Because Brian is a piece of shit. It is what it is. I'm only one man. I can only do so much. I've been running ragged all week long. That's good, though. That's good for me. Bad for you, though, because late podcast is what it is. But I apologize nonetheless. Consistency is the name of the game. I fucked up the name of the game, I guess. It is what it is. Man, super fucking busy. Uh, Working nonstop. I've... (sighs) I thought I was busy before when I worked. Just regular, a regular job. You go to job, they pay you. Man, man, I worked that job 12 hours a day at least six or seven days a week for the, for like two years. No problem. Easy peasy lemon squeezy Japanesey. Easy. Now, Brian's trying to put in his own work, thinking I'm going to have some free time. I got no fucking free time. None. Less than ever. I'm now working anywhere from, I don't know, 15, 17 hours a day. Then I come home. I still crush my workout because I'm an animal. Consistency is the key. Then I shower, eat, fucking work, uh, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. That's fucking, it's past midnight. I gotta get back up at four o'clock. Four hours of sleep, minimum, maximum. Minimal, maximum, maximum. I don't get not much more than four. And then that's why the podcast is like, pa podcast the pa 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 the podcast because well i'm an animal i can't stop can't stop won't stop but we're here we're here we're queer get used to it fuck yeah Mm. how's everyone else's fucking week as chaotic as mine it's always non-stop non-stop can't stop won't stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. Man. <clears throat> Sky. Sky. My daughter. My my one true daughter that I know of. I might have fucking seedlings all across the country. I'm not really sure. I'm not going to go back and find out. Because some secrets are best left as secrets. Shh, 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 shh. So Sky, my daughter, she turned seven this weekend. That was one thing I was super fucking busy at. I could Friday, cause kind of, I was kind of free, but no, I couldn't be, cause Danny was making cakes all day, and I had to do everything else. I had to do all the cooking. He's like, "Well, how much cooking are you doing for a party?" Brian likes to cook doesn't matter you get a group of people over i don't care if they're six year olds or 40 year olds we're cooking we're cooking food so i cooked a shit ton of meat and it took all motherfucking day pulled porks like 10 pounds of ground beef turned into hand pressed burgers spiced her Perfectly by Danny B. 
Oh, my God. I wish you could taste them. I, I, I kind of zoned out there for a second thinking about these tasty, tasty fucking burgers. Non-stop cooking. It's Saturday. Party setting up. Party getting ready. You got to clean the lawn. You got to... Man, I am the lawn master. And yet, my lawn is shit. I don't cut it. Why would I? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about my lawn. I only care about people paying me to do theirs. I don't give a fuck. No one's paying me to do mine. And honestly, you shouldn't be doing that much anyway. Listen, there's some grass tips. There's some grasser tips. I got my neighbor, this one over there. Lawn's destroyed. Lawn's destroyed. He aerated it. He dethatched it. He seeded it. And what did he do? He waited until the first fucking hot ass day. Plus 30 something. He fucking cut it. Not only did he cut it, he cut it low. He cut it so fucking low. Man, stop cutting your fucking grass. Just stop cutting it. If it was me, just stop cutting it. Like, I mean, if it gets a couple feet, fuck it. Come on in. Cut it. But when it's like millimeters and it's like, oh, it's getting a little shaggy. People are out here cutting their lawns every cock sucking fucking week. What are you, retarded? Tips. Short grass burns. My neighbor's yard? All burnt. It says you can't fucking figure it out. I'm like, but it's fucking burnt. You you cut it. You cut it too goddamn short. No, that can't be it. I was like, well, you're just gonna have to rake it up and reseed it. He's like, no, I already did that. But I live right fucking here. I see you all the time. You have not done these things. There is no water on the front of your lawn. To keep that brown down. And you're cutting it short all the motherfucking time. So how's it supposed to stay cool? How? Keep your lawn long. And if you really give a shit. I don't. Couldn't care less about my lawn. I let mine grow. And grow and grow and grow. I've cut mine. What is this? Mid-July. End of July. I've cut my lawn twice this year. Twice. It looks fantastic. Compared to this motherfucker? Fantastic. It's green. It's a little lush. I got weeds. Don't care. But it's green and lush compared to this guy. He's got like huge brown spots all over. Not just brown, like almost white. It's, it's dead. Gone. Gone but not forgotten. Put up a veteran's wall for this fucking grass, man. It is fucking out of here. But mine, it's fine. Cut it twice. This guy cuts it every fucking week. Religiously. And the same as this lawn game app. People out here cutting their lawns every fucking week regardless. I show up sometimes and I'm like, you can still see the lines. I'm like, this is cut. They're like, no, just cut it again. And you get like a handful of grass to put in the fucking dump. What the fuck are you doing? I shouldn't be arguing because I'm getting paid to do nothing. But you're an idiot just the fucking same. Idiot! Burning grass. You might as well literally just burn it. Fuck it, start fresh, man. Probably get a better product at the end. Because I hit fire, like when rejuice, fire rejuice. Look at the phoenix. That's why they had the phoenix. Fire rejuice. That's what they say. So if you got like a fucked up face, burn it. Fire rejuice. You all wrinkly and old, burn it. Fire rejuice. Prove it. These are facts. Because you know, 
bag milk only spits facts. Burn your face. Cures wrinkles. It's as simple as that. Those are 100% facts. Oh, my God. I'm retarded. You know this and I know this. And that's why this works. Imagine if you were watching this and you didn't know I was retarded. You might think, I thought I knew stuff. Or I think that burning your face is legitimate. Cure for wrinkles. It is. But you might think I think I know that for real. Maybe I do. You don't know. You don't know that I don't know. That you know. That I know. That I might not know. But that you know. Who knows? So the party went off <clears throat> without a hitch. <laughs> not. Party's party. It, it was all good. But my fucking... My smoker. <laughs> my poor smoker. This is all my fault. Everything is always my fault. That happens to me. At least I know that. At least I know that. At least I'm not like one of these putzes. <clears throat> these fucking stoolies out here. You're being like, <laughs> All my problems is because someone else. <clears throat> I mean, that could be, maybe, potentially, but probably, no, no, my fucking smoker, it caught on fire, what the fuck, man, it was fucking fantastic, because I was keeping my cool, right, like, I'm trying to keep my cool, and we got a rager, like, the fucking flames are just like and I'm like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. keep calm right keep calm yep. don't let anyone know that you're fucking freaking the fuck out right now everyone is around everyone's around they see me opening it huge fucking flames I close it and I sit there like ah fuck ah fuck what do I do what do I do? Ah, fuck. I turn it off. I turn it off. I make sure it's all good. Oh, we got no fucking fuel. There's no fucking fuel going to this thing. Anyway, it's not a propane. It's just wood. So it's got a big hopper off to the side. Big fucking basket almost. A big, big square tubey thing. If you don't know what a hopper or a basket looks like. Well, I'm sure you know what a basket. But it wouldn't make any sense. That would a whole little tiny fucking pellets because they might fall out this is a basket with no holes like a hopper a hopper is a basket with his holes filled in basically and so this hopper holds the wood pellets they're little tiny fucking wood pellets like a like a like a little rabbit poops maybe a little longer and there's a little drive inside a little worm drive a little corkscrewy drive that feeds the wood pellets in and then it hits a little element inside, a little stick. The stick heats up super red. Combust. That's how it works. Now, think about it. If I already got a fire, <clears throat> and the wood pellets are already inside the smoker, and then that pellets feed backwards into a hopper full of wood, did I really reduce the fuel by closing the door and turning it off? No. Absolutely not. That could just keep burning backwards up the worm drive and into the hopper. And now we got a fucking disaster. So I'm thinking of this. The whole time. I close it and go, ha, ah, fuck. <laughs> and everyone's kind of looking. They're playing it cool. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No big deal. Fire. Oh, yeah. Fire. Fire over here. Ha, <laughs> ha. And then I'm like, oh, yeah. Bacon soda. Snap a doo. Bacon soda. Hey, daddy. Uh, do you want to just bring me a bacon soda real quick? No big deal. Opens the fucking barbecue. 
fucking flames going. She just shakes a little bit in. Like a little bit. Like a line. I didn't even see it hit the fucking fire. It put it out. What the fuck? Like I knew baking soda was good for like grease fires and shit. But I don't even understand how this put it out. It didn't even touch the fucking fire. Didn't even touch the fire. Like maybe a little bit. Like I can see where it hit on the barbecue. On the grill. It's a smoker. There's a little pan underneath the grill. It hit that. Straight line. Danny went. And I'm like okay. It put it out. It didn't hit it. It hit that grill. Or the, the little cover. Inside under the grill. And then smoked a little. That's what put out the fire. I think. I think the smoke put it out. I think it took its air away. Or something. It was fucking magic. I can't, I can't explain it. And I don't understand it. So, black magic. Isn't that how you do it back in the day? If you don't understand and you can't figure it out, call them a witch and burn them. Call them a witch. So my smoker is a witch. Which witch is which? I'm not sure. East, east side. Isai, bitches. Um, so my grill, my smoker, is actually a competing gang member. So, cause I'm West Side, bitch. So, I might have to take it out. I'm not really sure. <sighs> I'm gonna have to paint it its gang colors, blue. It is what it is, man. Fucking smokers. Other than that. Wasn't bad. We had fucking Papa. We had my pu- my Papa, not my Papa, the kid's Papa, Danny B's dad, come up for a visit. Always a pleasure. Took us out to eat. We went to this local spot here in town. Never been there. It's always nice. It's always nice when someone comes to your town and wants to go out to a local spot because you're here all the fucking time. Sometimes you don't even know all the local spots. You'd be like, it's been a long time since I've been here. I'm not really sure. I go to these usual spots. And he's like, well, let's go somewhere else. So we went to hashtag excellent Pete's. Excellent. And I'm like, but it's after lunch. Imagine if they didn't serve lunch or didn't serve breakfast or lunch. You're called excellent Pete's? And you don't serve breakfast all day? Burn this place down. Burn it down. Actually, I'm almost sure they don't serve breakfast all day. You're called Excellent Pete's, and I'm pretty sure the menu said they stop serving breakfast at 5. Now, I get it. You're like, well, that's probably late enough. No, bro. You called your place Excellent Egg. Eggs. Loofs. That's French for egg. Loofs. Loof. I think. It's been a long time. You can't call your place eggs and then stop serving them at any time. Any time. Burn your place to the ground. If you stop serving eggs at five, burn it down. Honestly, it was a really good spot. I don't want to fucking dish on it too bad. It's a really good spot. It was shit for service. But that's not their fault. They were actually hiring for waitress staff. So this one lady, this really old lady, was just running around. Meow, 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 meow. But I'm pretty sure she had game plan. Okay? Because when we first got there, boom, super attentive. You know, make sure we got our menus. Oh, you want refills on the coffee? Boom, boom. Good. But then, this is what I think most restaurants are like anyway. But this one was a little worse. Is after you get mostly through your food and you've had that first refill, most restaurants don't give a fuck about the old customers anymore. You're done. 
They want new ones in. They want you to get the fuck out. So usually they're over like, okay, you ready for the bill? You ready for the bill? You ready for the bill? Can I take these dishes? Let's get the fuck out of here. This one, because she's probably so fucking busy, didn't give a fuck. Once we had that first refill, I'm still waiting on that fucking bitch to bring me my receipt. I'm telling you, we were waiting and waiting. You know, you do that. Ha <laughs> ha. You turn over the back of your chair. And you kind of look at her. You're just kind of looking around the restaurant. You're like, hmm, pretty bored now. You see me looking around because I want to leave. And I'm making eye contact with you walking around. That's supposed to be the key to bring my check. I'm looking at you walking around. You see me kind of bored, just panning around the restaurant. It's time for me to go. It's time for me to go. Get your shit together. Not only that, this guy had a fucking dessert. Took forever. I had to ask the dishwasher to bring me the fucking dessert. It wasn't a fucking dessert anyway. It was a fucking ring pop. They're like, oh, you get a treat. And I'm like, oh, you get dessert. Sweet. No. Fucking ring pop. A 35 cent ring pop. What did you get these in bulk at Halloween? You send your kids trick or treating and you kept them? Get fucked, bro. That's not a treat. That's not a treat. Well, whatever. It is what it is. Hmm. Whatever. Listen. I want to talk about this. Listen. 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 This is this is dad's. This is dad's famous nursery rhyme. Listen. Listen. The cat's pissing. Where? Where? Under the chair. Run. Run. Get the gun. Ah, uh, too late. Cat's done. Dad's a weird fella. And that's okay. That's okay. I had a friend. I think he was a friend. I thought it was a friend. Pretty sure I was wrong. I'm pretty sure I was wrong. Don't you hate that, man? You make a bud, and then they just was like, oh, 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 I'm worthless to you. Okay. I would prefer you just tell me that right away instead of me finding out other ways. Because that sucks. Like, I don't got time for worthless pieces of shit. That's what I say. Now, listen to this. This fucking punk. He's a punk. It's simple as that. You don't do this, people. Imagine inviting people to your wedding. That's cool. That's cool. Then COVID happens. You can't have your wedding. Get it. Shitty things. You get postponed. And then finally, when you can't have the wedding, you just invite random new people, I guess, or you just don't invite the ones you had before. Not only that, imagine. Now you think I'm I'm upset that I didn't go to someone's fucking wedding? Man, I am super glad I didn't go to this fucking wedding. I don't give a shit about going to a wedding. I would prefer not to go. The party afterward would have been nice to go, but don't give a fuck. No. I had this buddy ask me and another of my buddies to be his groomsman. His motherfucking groomsman. Apparently, you know, he thought we were special or something. I was like, man, I barely even know this guy. I... I, Literally, I knew this gentleman for three months, and he's like, hey, man, you want to be in my wedding? I'm like, are you, are you touched? Are you, have you been dropped? Are you on the spectrum, my friend? Obviously, you are. We just met, but sure, bud, whatever. You're a good guy, you seem pretty solid. I'll do you one favor. Like I said, COVID comes around. When gets shut down, all good. All good. It's been over a fucking year. Honestly, I didn't even, this guy didn't even keep in touch. 
I tried and tried, and I'm like, ah, this guy's fucking useless. So I fucking just stop talking to him. That is what it is. People drift apart. Yeah. Is what it is. Then all of a sudden, you just see, I've seen pictures on fucking Facebook. The wedding happened. He's got new groomsmen. I'm not even invited to the reception. Neither was my bud. The two of us were supposed to be grooms, groomsmen. He never told either of us. What the fuck kind of piece of shit does that to people? No, honestly. He couldn't even be like, hey, yeah, no, I replaced you. Do you mind? Do you want to come to the party? And I'm like, yeah, whatever. I didn't want to be a fucking groomsman anyway. I would have assumed you would have picked someone you knew longer than three months. Maybe you only knew these fucking chumps for three months. And you just asked them because they were like, oh, they're current. Oh, they're current. I only keep currents in my life, which is fucking stupid. But whatever, man. Whatever. Those are good friends. That's why it's so easy to keep good friends because they're just, you know, good people out there that are doing good things like this. Just stabbing you in the back. Whatever. Honestly, I wonder if it's because I'm too ugly. Oh, honestly. No, listen to this. <laughs> We had, me and Danny B, another friend, same kind of dealio. They were about to be married. This girl and Dan, not this girl and Danny. This girl that is Danny's friend was about to be married. Danny was expected to be one of the bridesmaids. Now, listen to this. This is exactly what happened. Danny was actually told, no, we don't need you as a bridesmaid. I've actually picked these new bridesmaids that I've just met. Because I want the pictures to look good. What? So basically, I'm too ugly. To be in your fucking pictures is what this bitch said to Danny. You're too fucking ugly. What the fuck? And kicked her out of her fucking wedding. You're dead to me. Done. At that point, you're dead to me. Same as this guy. Dead to me. I don't need people like that in my life. Why the fuck would I want anyone like that in my life? If you're just like, uh, and then... Not even try. Dead. Don't care. Obviously, friends get busy. They create new lives. Blah, 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 blah. That happened. I got friends I haven't talked to in years and years and years. But yet, I can text them like that. And we're back in. But I haven't been avoiding them. They haven't been avoiding me. Not like this fucking chump. Not like... Being invited and to your wedding as a fucking groomsman and then replace you with not even a fucking sorry. Sorry. What the fuck? You're a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. You're dead to me. She's dead. You're dead. That's how I cut him off. I go like this. Snip, snip. Done, man. Just like my nutsack. Snip, snip. Done. I ain't fucking around. I ain't fucking around. I ain't fucking around no more. That's how I roll. That's how I roll. Because I come in hot. I don't got time to worry about, well, is this person going to contact? This person going to contact? Man, I'm always the friend that usually I'm like trying to contact you. And then if I just feel like I'm too much of a nuisance. I just like, ah, fuck off. I'm out. I'm out. I don't care. I don't want to feel like a nuisance. Mm. Yeah. So I don't. So. So. I don't. Simple as that. Simple as that. Uh, But yeah. Other than that, it was fucking pretty good. Good party. Man. Found out one of my buddies, he's uh, he's doing some extra walking. 
I see this a lot. I see him walking all the time. It's fucking hilarious. He's, uh, he's a big dude, too. And uh, you see him at the corners. He's hiking the fucking knees up. And he's, he's getting pumped and ready. I'm like, yes, man. Six, 12K a day. a boy. 12K. Six, 6K times two. Fucking phone's going off. Why didn't it fuck this fucking idiot? See, I'm reading text in the middle of the podcast because I'm so disrespectful. Uh, but this is awesome. Listen, this gentleman for a job, an electrical job, he sends me this stove. He's like, hey, man, can you take my five wire stove that's new and wired up to my house? But that only has three wires. And I'm like, what? What the fuck is going on here? That doesn't make any sense. Show me the wires. Show me the show me the diagrams. So he sends me diagrams. It's not it's not in fucking English. I can't read it. I don't know what wires what. I'm like, I don't know, but honestly, I'm I'm not a hundred percent. I was like, I can stop by and take a look, but I don't know. I was like, that fucking print's not even in English. He just texts me. Well, I have the English one too. Huh. Huh. What the fuck? What in our conversation, our texting conversation, would make you think I would prefer any other version besides English? You're like, you know what? This whole conversation we've been texting in English. I bet he'll appreciate the non-English version of this blueprint. Mm-hmm. That's I. I bet. I. I bet he'll he'll enjoy the fact that I'm sending him the obscure print. Ah, the Latin print. These are the better ones. What the? Fuck. Some people. Some people are fucking stupid. I'm just saying. Some people are, are stupid. It's okay. It's a, That's not a bad thing. You're just stupid. It is what it is. Not everyone can be smart. I'm not smart. You put me on a spectrum. You put me on a large enough spectrum with the smartest people in the world and the dumbest people in the world. I'm probably closer to the dumber. I don't know. Maybe the majority of us are dumb. And so the spectrum is actually really short. And the majority of us are in the dumber spectrum. And then only the fucking upper echelon. Very few are smart. Who knows? I don't know how many people are smart. Did everyone want to look this up? Look it up. Look it up. Because I want to know. I want to know. I want to know about it. How many people are smart and stupid? I bet. I bet there's more dumb people than smart people. I bet the majority of us are dumb. And what you think is dumb. And you'd be like, oh, I'm actually dumb too then. I think that's, I think that's probably the truth. I think that's probably the truth. But anyway, back to my buddy. He's working out. He mentioned to me. So, yeah, yeah, I just got to get my cardio together because I eat like shit. And I want to kind of eat like shit. And I'm like, that's awesome. Because at least you know. Okay? At least you know what you want. Some people are like, you know what? I want to lose weight. And then they just start doing shit. The, maybe they're cardio. Maybe they're still eating shit. But they don't know. So if you're doing, say, like this guy. And he's cardio and still eating like shit. You're like, well, that's not going to work. But if you know full well that you're eating shit. It's causing you to gain weight. It can. You can still. You can still work it. You know what I mean? You can still work those numbers. Because if he's like, okay. 
If he's consistently eating like shit all of his life, he's not going to eat any extra shit, right? So he just adds in exercise. He hasn't changed his eating. He just adds in exercise. Well, he's going to lose weight. Absolutely. Is he going to get any healthier? No. No, he's not. Well, he will from the loss of weight, which would be healthier on his body. Yeah, absolutely, 110%. But, in the grand scheme of things, eh, it's better to do whatever. Better to to, to eat healthier. But he's still doing it. And that's great, because you need to know that you can. You can... Lose weight and eat like shit. Or, like I say, it's up to you. I'm lazy. This is it for me. I'm fucking lazy. So I don't want to work out every day. I don't have the time to work out every day. Man, I almost missed this cocksucking fucking podcast one hour a week. One. And I almost missed that because I'm so fucking busy. You think I want to add in six, seven day a week workouts and an hour a piece? That's seven fucking hours. No, I'm too fucking lazy. I got no time. So I clean my eating up. That's it. You can do one or the other. I do both for efficiency. That's it. Uh. It's because I'm efficient as fuck. It's not because I'm superhuman. It's just because I'm trying to be efficient. (laughs) That's it. Literally. I'm not fucking awesome. I'm not, you know, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about as usual. I'm just trying to say you can cheat. Everyone's like, well, you got to be... If they see my diet and they're like, well, if I got to eat like that, there's no point. Or see one of my workouts, like, oh, he must work out like that every day to be like that. And I'm like, no, you don't have to do almost any of this. But you have to figure out one or the other. You either have to exercise more or eat less. It's a scale. It's a huge fucking scale. Eat more, exercise more. Eat more, exercise more. That's it. So if you want to eat a lot, you have to exercise more. If you don't give a shit that you eat a lot, and you can dial in your nutrition, you don't have to work out at all, ever, 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 unless you want muscle growth. I think I'm an idiot, though. I almost guarantee it, though. You don't have to. Don't listen to them tell you you have to do both. Because you don't. One or the other. If you want to be efficient as fuck and get quicker results, you do both. But if you don't care, you can do one. If you don't care, you do one. Or if you, if you care, but you're time constricted. Just clean up your eating. Well, if you're time constricted to do your eating, then do the workouts. If it's easier, whatever's easier for you. But you don't have to do both. You don't have to do both. Just saying. Just saying. Oh. Oh, first one of the day, bro. That's a good one. That's a good buffer. Here's a quick question. This is bothering me. The stupidest things always bother me. I don't know why. This is just quick. Now, is it... Is it bristle? Bristle board? Or is it bristle? Because it's spelled Bristol. But I don't know anyone that says Bristol board. Bristol? 
Bristle. I hear bristle board. Bristle. But it's spelled Bristol. And it pisses me off. The simplest little thing pisses me off. So, I want you to put in the comments. Bristle, however you spell it, but make sure you spell it the way it sounds. Not the way it's spelled because I'm like, hey, dummy. That doesn't tell me anything. That's just the way it's spelled. So spell it the way you say it. Bristle or Bristol. T in there. There is a T. I want to know. What's the correct? Did I look it up? No. Because it's fucking misinformation on the internet. It misinformation everywhere. Now you got government. Government submitting certain posts to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. They have channels. They have people working, scouring the internet. And you're like, okay, conspiracy theorist, get your shit together. And I'm like, no, but this is a confirmed thing. The government has admitted to submitting certain requests to Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. I'm sure fucking anyone that has any audience and says, hey, 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 that's misinformation. You need to get rid of that. Or flag it or get rid of the people. They've actually gotten rid of some people off Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube for saying misinformation against vaccines and the government. What the fuck kind of country are we living in? Legit. Legit. We always, well, me, I always just expected that the government was fucking be like, hey man, you can't say that on Facebook. But now it's confirmed that they're like, yep, yeah, this post right here, it says, uh, it says the vaccine might, might make you sick. We should probably get rid of that or people won't get vaccines. And even someone like, well, but that case is true. That one case is true. And they're like, yeah, but if you have it on Facebook, people will share it. And then lots of people will see that one case made people see people sick. And then they'll start to question the vaccine. And we can't have that. You can't have people questioning a vaccine that isn't regulated. You just can't. That goes against everything we're trying to do here. We're trying to get everyone vaccinated. Not sure why. For it is a virus that was a 99.9% .9 fucking recovery rate anyway. I forgot. I just seen this post somewhere. I forget. I think it's Italy. For the, one of their variant vaccines. This variant vaccine. 39% of people getting this vaccine get an infection. <laughs> the effectiveness of this vaccine is only 41%. <clears throat> so almost guaranteed you're going to get an infection and 50-50 of whether or not you could get the vaccine, uh, whether you're going to get COVID. And that doesn't even mean shit. 99.7% effective means you can still get COVID and it's just going to reduce the symptoms. Everyone fucking keeps forgetting this. Everyone's like, I got the vaccine. I'm not going to get it. <laughs> oh. Oh. I get so mad. Listen, you're going to get it. You're going to get it. Listen, this is also why numbers are dropping. Everyone's like, ha ha, see? vaccinations are working numbers are dropping okay look look people that weren't scared weren't really getting tested anyway so if numbers are dropping it's because a bunch of people that were getting tested all the fucking time are now vaccinated 
And now they're not scared. And so now they're not getting tested all the time. What the fuck is that? So you imagine being there. Oh, I lost my fucking job. They're not being tested. See, now you got all these people vaccinated, not being tested. You got people that weren't scared before, not being tested. Why are positive numbers going down? Not as many people getting tested. It's not because vaccinations are working and everything's going back to normal. I'm sure they are working. Less people are dying. That is the fucking trick. That's what vaccinations are supposed to do. I guess if they're keeping people from dying, they're working. But was it worth the risk injecting random chemicals into your body? That aren't even approved by the government. There's no liability. The vaccination companies could just keep killing you. Keep pumping out new variant vaccines. Keep selling them to the government. Government's going to keep buying them. No liability. No liability. They just keep killing people. Well, it's not our fault. It is what it is. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yep. And now you got government controlling how that misinformation is displayed. You can't see it on Facebook anymore. You can't see it. If you used to be able to see if someone shared around, oh, vaccines are fucking causing heart problems down in Florida. You used to be able to find that on Google. If you didn't find it on Facebook, oh, Facebook's starting to flag that as misinformation. We'll go to Google. No. Google's fucked too. Because <clears throat> the government's getting Google to flag shit. Man, you thought you lived in a free country? If your government is flagging shit on the internet to be removed... You're not in a free country. If you're in Canada, United States, you ain't free. You got your government modifying the internet for you. I can't believe it. Honestly, I thought we were in a free... As a child, you're like, this is pretty free. We're free. No, we're not free. They're just taking it away bit by bit. Controlling the internet. If they control the internet, they control everything. The whole narrative. Like, we used to be like, ha ha, China doesn't see that they're fucked up because they don't, they don't have the internet to get to the outside. They can't reach the outside. See the real news of the outside world. Bro, that's happening to us. That's us. Ha! They got... The media control. You got Jeff Bezos owning, what is it? The Washington Post, New York Times, one of those fucking papers. He owns like the second largest media outlet in the fucking country. Maybe the world. I don't know. Definitely in the country. You don't think that's a conflict of interest as a billionaire owning the largest media outlet. Do you think they're going to talk bad about them? Do you think even one single bad story could ever come out about him? Even if it was true. Jeff Bezos touched kids. Do you think you'll ever see that in his own newspaper? Or do you think that would get spun? to uh, Jeff Bezos helped pull up kids' pants accidentally brushed against genitals for 45 minutes. Who knows? <clears throat> they would spin that so it would be a positive story. They're already spinning. They're saying the space race, the race to space benefits 
benefits us all. Really? That's what how they how they put it. Benefits us all. Period. Really? Period. You had to put that in there. Like, no, seriously, guys. Come pay attention. It's actually benefiting us all. Really? You fucking retired it. You can't have people like that. You can't have the government running Facebook. You can't have Bezos running newspapers. You can't have Bill Gates buying up all the fucking land in the United States. Creepy shit. Creepy shit. I don't like it. But yeah, they're controlling everything. You thought you lived free. Try saying something on Facebook about the gov. <clears throat> you might get away with it because you're a single person. But if you created enough chatter around it, you got enough friends that are hitting the like button, you're going to get fucking canceled right quick by the gov. You don't have to worry about getting cancel cultured. Because the gov will get you. Old Trudeau and old Biden. Now that we're fucking lefties across the board up here too. Oh, we're going full on fucking authoritarianism. We're going full CCP. <coughs> China's already controlled Canada by its interest. Someone said, oh, yeah, yeah. I listened to a podcast the other day. It was on Rogan. Someone was like, no, no, you don't have to worry about China because they, they're not building up their military. Like America is. America's got the largest military in the world. 800 bases worldwide. China has one base worldwide. I forget where she said it was. And I'm like, oh, fuck, that's interesting. But at the same time, China doesn't have to. China doesn't have to fucking pull a single fucking trigger. They don't have to touch a nuke. Nothing. They've perfectly, perfectly done this. They've integrated. They've made it that in order to do business with them, you have to work with their government. That's it. It's not like you just come in and do business like you could here or America. No, you have to have a government official and it has to benefit the government. You say anything bad about the government, you're fucking out. And they do that here. And then they start buying the companies when it's all cheap. All our oil in Canada, Chinese. Chinese oil. It's all. All these big companies in the States, Chinese. They're there. They're already there. What the fuck do they got to pull a gun for when China makes like 97% of the United States fucking medicine? Probably ours too. What do they got to pull a gun for? They just stop sending medicine. That's it. They just be like, hey guys that run those companies over there. Stop. They don't give a fuck about the money. It's not about the money. It's about poignancy presence they just have to be there and they could stop it and they'll lose money for sure but the united states just runs on that on that it's a well-oiled machine it's not even a well-oiled machine anymore but it's a machine and if you get enough fucking gears that just all of a sudden stop the machine just fucking falls apart and that's what china has done they've just put themselves Everywhere in important positions across the world, not just in America, Canada, everywhere, everywhere that they can and everywhere that they will. Because they run it. They don't need to build a military. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I'd say this girl's wrong. She said. 150%. You don't have to worry about China building a military. The United States just needs to stop building their military to let China know that we're 
we're done. And then they'll be considerate. Russia will know that we're done being military powers. And then they'll just stop and we'll all come together. I'm like, "Uh uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, that's exactly how that'll work. Even though that's not the game China's playing. That's the thing. They're not playing the military game. That's just, that's a cool game. And the United States won that. And China figured that out. They're like, oh, we can't win that. Well, let's just make our own game. It's completely different. Where we build our own sets of rules. And there's no way we can lose. Because no one even knows that we're playing it. And we're making the rules up as we go. Perfect fucking game. The United States is over here. Build the military. Build it. If they build it, they will come. I don't know, man. Fucking, I don't know what I'm talking about. Government misinformation. It's getting worse and worse out there every fucking time I look at it. Everyone's sending me posts. Like, look at what the government's doing now. Look what they're doing now. <sighs> I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know what to tell you. You just gotta, you just gotta say fuck off. You just, I don't know. Live your life. The government's fucked. You gotta bring the picture in a little smaller. That's the only thing I do. Sometimes you look at the big picture and you're just like, holy fuck, man. Like if you took a picture, a literal picture, any picture of a disaster, a complete fucking disaster picture with a camera, you went to the New York fucking trade towers at 9-11 that day and you took a fucking picture of all that disaster and you blew it up and you just looked at it and looked at the big picture and you're like look at this fucking disaster man everywhere you look it's a disaster you look at and break it down you're like fuck just look at this big picture but then you start Just scanning it down into smaller sections. And you're like, oh, fuck. Look at this brick set of place. Oh, my God. And finally, when you get down to the bottom and you're just kind of scanning it into a small section, you see just under the little tiny rubble a flower growing. Now, if you just zoomed in on just that flower, you don't see any of the bricks You don't see any of the explosion. You don't see any of the dust. Nothing. You just see that flower growing. Nothing else. Sometimes that's all you need. You just need to say fuck the world for a bit. And just close it off. And just be like, I'm just going to look at this fucking flower. Because... If I don't, I'm going to go crazy. Worrying about all this other shit. I'm going to go down this rabbit hole. And I'm like, life's fucked. Life's fucked. Why bother? Because of this goddamn flower. That's why. If this one flower can make it and all this destruction. We can too. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Japanesey. That's it, bro. That's it. That's all I got. That's all I got for this late ass episode, man. That's it. I gotta stop. That's one thing about doing these episodes. I always do them the exact same day, Sunday. Sunday morning. Exactly. When I wake up, it's gotta be this routine. It's boxed in every single time. And if fuck it, that throws me off. I'm all fucked up. I'm all fucked up. So, it's like putting a pussy on a pedestal. I put the podcast, po- po- pussy podcast on a pedestal. I can only do it a certain way, certain time, certain light, certain this, that, that. Ah! I got to stop doing that. I got to stop doing that. Because fucking, I got to learn to be, I got to learn to be like a little liquid, a little fluid, and just fucking bleh. Blah. Just put it out there. 
Put it out to the ether, B. I'm going to do that better. I'm going to try. And try to do that better, and then that'll make me, I think, a better podcaster in the long run. If I can just off the fly, off the cuff, why do I need to have a pussy on a pedestal? Why do I need a fucking Rizzo team? I shouldn't need it. It's good to have. It's good to get me started. Boom, boom, boom. But now I should be able to free flow 70 fucking one episodes in. I should be able to fucking free flow a little better than that. Right? Right. Thanks for listening. Like, share, subscribe. You know what to do. Hit those buttons over here. Subscribe it. Hit the bell. Get the notifications. Leave a review on a podcast app. Text me. Tell me your favorite fucking thing. Anything. Leave comments. That all helps. All those little things. As soon as you interact with anything, it helps. You can interact with something, hit a like, share, comment, this or that. You haven't done it this week somewhere, ah, do it somewhere. All right, I'm out.